back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you a Walmart grocery haul. This is a two-week grocery haul. I did do the online pickup. It's Sunday, so I went this morning to pick it up between 7 and 8. There was no one there, which was fantastic. I was the first car there. They loaded me up within 10 minutes, and I was so excited. Um, I did spend $155.30, and that is for a family of two, and this is a two-week haul. So without further ado, I'm going to turn you guys around and show you what I got. Okay, the first thing we will start with is the dairy. I picked up two of the YoPlay Whips Low-Fat Yogurt. This is in a lot of my grocery hauls. My husband likes to take these for his snack. Then I picked up the Hazelnut Coffee Creamer. We do like creamers in this house, and the one I wanted, they were out of stock, so I picked up the Great Value one, which is just fine. Then I picked up some sour cream, and then some Kerrygold butter. I do have a recipe that I am going to use the sour cream, and I'm gonna share that with you in a separate video. On over to the veggies, I got this spinach and spring mix. I like to do um, smoothie shakes and add my spinach into it. Sometimes we have grilled chicken salads. Got two cucumbers for the salads. Got some okra. Got some corn on the cob. I always love putting corn on the cob in the crock pot. It's so easy, so when you get home, if you have a meat in the crock pot and then a veggie in the crock pot, you're done for the night, and it's so simple. Got some celery. I was going to do some celery juice. Got some mushrooms. Got some green beans. I have a recipe, a crock pot recipe that I'm going to share with you guys that have the green beans in it. Got some broccoli florets. This is in every one of my grocery hauls. I love this broccoli. And then the hubby asked for some bok choy, so I definitely picked up the bok choy for him. This is such a healthy snack. And if you guys haven't tried this before, it's a cabbage. And he really likes it. It's not my favorite, but he does like it. So, of course, I picked it up for him. Anything good and healthy for a snack is okay with me. Then I got the French Vanilla Coffee Pods. This is a 48 count. Now we will go on over to the snacky kind of food. So I got some saltine crackers. I was going to make the hubby some peanut butter crackers for a snack. And then I have a recipe that calls for crushed up crackers um, in a beef. So I'm going to use those crackers for that also. My favorite Power Crunch bars. This is the peanut butter cream. Uh, the hubby got some Cliff bars. He likes the chocolate chip or the macadamia nut. Um, now we'll go on over to the breads. This is an Italian loaf. This and the crackers are going to go into the recipe I was telling you about. Got some bagels for the hubby's breakfast in the mornings. I already have cream cheese. Now this was a substitute. I did ask for the Great Value bagels, but they told me they were out of the Great Value bagels, so they substituted for the Thomas, which is more expensive, but I only paid for the Great Value bagels, so that's good. Anytime they substitute and they go up, you know, a better brand, you're not going to pay the better brand price. You are going to pay the Walmart price, the great value price. So, for instance, I ordered the great value. They gave me the Thomas Bagel. I paid the great value price, which is awesome. And if you guys have done the grocery pickup before, you know that. Um, then we'll go on over to the uh, canned stuff or seasoning stuff. I got the Italian dressing. I like to do uh, chicken breast in the crock pot with Italian dressing. This is the peanut butter for the peanut butter crackers. Got some great jelly. Hubby wants a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for breakfast some mornings. Simple and easy, good for me. Got the onion recipe soup and dip mix. I have two crock pot recipes that call for one packet of these. Um, got some diced tomatoes, again for a recipe. Two cans of corn for a recipe that I'm gonna make. Same thing as the Rotel. Got a crock pot recipe that calls for the Rotel. Got chili beans. I always like doing a baked potato night and we put chili beans on the baked potato with sour cream and butter. I already had one can in the cabinet so I needed just to pick up another can to last us two weeks. Uh, bean and bacon soup. My husband sometimes likes to take a sandwich and soup to lunch with him and he likes the bean and bacon soup. Dark red kidney beans. I have a chili recipe that that goes into. Picked up two of the cream and mushroom soups. I did have some in my cabinet, but I wanted to make sure I had enough for my crock pot recipe, so I picked up two more. I picked up the Weiler's Chicken Herb and Spice. 
little cubes. I have a recipe that calls for that in the crock pot, so I got that. And then the ranch packets. I always like to keep these on hand for recipes. And we'll go on over to the, I'm not sure how you say it. I say it puree, but I think it's pure, something like that. But this is a really good um, organic stevia. So if you guys haven't tried this before and stevia is something that you really don't like, this tastes pretty good. I don't mind having this. Um, then I got some mustard. I was almost out of mustard, so we needed some mustard. And then I got some breakfast sandwiches for the hubby. This is the sausage and buttermilk biscuits. These are just an easy breakfast that I like to pick up sometimes. You just stick them in the microwave and they're ready to go. Now on over to the toilet paper. Picked up some Charmin. Nine mega rolls, 36 regular rolls. Got some green tea for the hubby. He likes to take these in his lunch box. Uh, we'll go to the meats now. I got this five pound bag of chicken breast. Got some ground beef here. Got some thin pork chops. I have a crock pot recipe that I'm gonna share with you guys that require the pork chops. Got some stew beef. I have another crock pot recipe that I'm gonna share with you guys and it called for stew beef. Now we'll go over to the odds and end things. Got Bubba Cat some temptations. He likes this flavor a whole lot. If you guys have a kitten, you should try this. Kittens love it. And then I picked him up two cans of the Fancy Feast. We are getting our cat food now from Amazon. It just seems easier to go ahead and order it from Amazon and they just deliver it to us. So you probably won't see those big bags of cat food in my grocery haul much because I've just been ordering them from Amazon. I got some Arm & Hammer baking soda. I'm gonna use this to clean some things with. I'm just gonna use baking soda. And in my last grocery haul, I picked up the vinegar. So I'm gonna mix um, the baking soda and vinegar together to make me a good cleaning solution. I'm going to do some cleaning in my refrigerator. I got some Great Value Disinfectant Wipes. Got some Spick and Span. This stuff was only 97 cents, guys. That is a great price. Um, then I got some Irish Spring. Hubby was out of soap, so I picked that up. Got me some hairspray. I like the Tresemme, and the number three is my favorite kind. I've tried them all, but the number three is my favorite. But if they don't have number three, I'll take any of it because this is just a great hairspray for me. Got some all-purpose flour. Going to make some homemade bread. And then last but not least, I got some Big Soleil razors. I used to be a big couponer, and I have just now ran out of razors from when I couponed. I think I really need to start couponing again. Okay, guys, that was it for my grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys all have an amazing week, and I'll see you in the next video. And let me know down in the comments below, would you like me to do grocery hauls and show you the pricing, or do you like me just to show you how much I spent? Like in the very beginning of the video, I showed you I spent $150. So let me know down in the comments what you prefer. And I thank you so much for stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to tap that bell for my further notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!